Now let me present to you that how analytics has been used in the contact center. In the contact center, there was one problem that the employees were not able to pronounce so well. So how can you use analytics so that employees making mistakes in pronunciation can correct themselves? So the first thing that we're, you know, like if you investigate, it's again the case study. It shows that that words which people, which employees were supposed to speak were actually coming from a script. They were given a clear cut script which they were supposed to read and talk. So on those words, analytics helps us to figure out which are the words which are more important because you can simply take the frequency of which word is appearing more time, many number of times. So essentially if some word is appearing many number of times, it has more importance than those words which are not appearing so many times. On top of that, there are QH, quality analyst, which who goes through, who does the call listening and they can actually pinpoint which are the words where the employees are not able to pronounce correctly. So essentially, if you take the list of words which are where people are not able to pronounce correctly and then take their relative importance and select those which are more frequent than those which are less frequent. Because if some word is ten coming, let's say four times, the, the a, an employee will make mistake four times. Whereas one word which is coming just once in the whole script, probably employee will make mistake only once. So if based on which are the words which are employees are speaking wrongly and if you can among them take out those which are more important we can you can make a list of those words which are wrongly pronounced and more frequent item you take the list of those words and then make it a part of curriculum make a specific training make a specific program so that all employees can get a refresher every say fortnightly so that they can correct, they can improve themselves on these words. So using this technique, employee can communicate with increased efficiency because their pronunciation problems are over and customer will not keep saying, I can't hear you, I can't understand you, I am not getting you, repeat all those things. So by improving pronunciation based on wrongly pronounced more frequent item, and then designing training for those word, the list of those words which are wrongly pronounced and more frequent, the company has been able to improve their pronunciation. Now let me present another case study to you, which is the basic targeting strategy. In any call center, any contact center, you have a limited number of people who can call. So no bandwidth to connect all delinquent account holder. And in reality, you don't need to connect also. There are people who sometimes, you know, who had forgotten probably once and they, these are the customer, these are the good customer who will pay you with finance charges. You just probably an SMS is good enough for them to understand they are delinquent. Where are, there, is, there are people who are high risk customer who are not having so much money and only the person like who contacts them for collections first will get the money. So it's always better to connect these guys. They are not having sufficient money. They are, they have taken loan from many places and those creditor who collects money first will get the money. Others will, will have to fight. So these are the customer where contact is necessary. So what it does, you know, if at all you target only which those customers, which are high risk for contact, and leave good customers for a good time so that they can pay on their own, the good customers feel better. You know why? Because they have paid and they don't feel embarrassed that they have not made, they have forgotten. Whereas firm also saves on the bad customer because these are the customer who have not paid, who not have paid otherwise without contacting. So that's why it becomes win-win, win for the customer because you have not irritated the good customer and good for the win for the firm because you have been able to collect money with your limited resource by targeting on the high risk customers. 
I am showing you one of the example of two to three early stage. Here, based on collectability and based on the balance, it was find out those which has high huge collectability and low balance. There is no need to put the collection effort. Probably an SMS is good. Whereas those guys who are carrying huge balance and has low collectivity, you know, probably you need to target them, you know, contact them and all those things. So if you have a limited resource, probably you will target only this area. You have little more, you will try to target this area. So based on that, because you have a limited bandwidth and if you target just the red area, you will be able to contact almost all the high risk customer and that's where you get the benefit. You are able to collect money even though you have limited resource. That's where lies the beauty of analytics. That's, that's where lies the applicability of analytics.